On this episode of the Armory, we're going to have a brief overview of the 2014 or newer Shut Vengeance DCT helmet. Now some things you may be wondering right off the bat are, what does DCT mean? DCT stands for Dual Compression TPU. Now you may wonder what TPU stands for. TPU stands for Thermoplastic Urethane. Both of those terms come into play later on in the overview. The first thing we want to address is the weight and how Shut has attacked it to make this helmet both lighter and safer. The 2013 or later models weighed in right out of the box with the twist release at 3.65 pounds. Now the 2014 or newer, which is what this is, weigh right out of the box with the twist release 2.85 pounds. Now the way Shut has, was able to reduce the weight of the helmet while increasing the safety was with the fourth generation of the TPU. Now what they did was they took this entire helmet and they changed the liner. The liner is now only a single layer dual compression TPU liner. This fourth generation of the TPU is now ribbed so it protects against both high and low velocity impacts better than all three previous generations. Now they still have the SureFit airliner which is this nice silver padding all across, all across the helmet. The airliner does allow you to inflate from two inflation points. You have the back and you have the top which is the crown. So you have your crown and your lateral liner. Now what the SureFit airliner also does is it protects against both high and low impact velocities by having foam all throughout the liner but also having a higher density foam in the front of the helmet. This helps you protect the head against more high velocity impact straight to the dome. Now it does still have that nice high powered energy wedge, that nice mohawk that everybody's come to like from the, Mo from the Vengeance series. Still has the energy wedge or the energy shelf in the back which is really aggressive. This is one of your off standish helmets. Even the jaw pads have the TPU in them which do protect a lot of the mandible. This is a large jaw pad but it works well with the helmet. And again, we say the helmet works well with itself because the twist release comes into play when adding a face mask. And you also see that the face masks have the eyebrows. If you don't know much about the Vengeance helmets, the eyebrows play into the shell design as well when it comes to deflecting velocity, to deflecting impacts, and to transferring energy through the shell as opposed to into your head. But again, back to the helmet. Shut's done a very good job of upgrading this helmet over the years. I'm sure they'll continue to do it. They also have their VTD-1 and VTD-2. But don't shy away from the Vengeance DCT. It's still a great helmet. We'll have a nice review coming up for you here pretty soon. We like to do our three-part reviews where we have a skilled player, a lineman player, and a multi-position player review the helmet so that you can get it from every aspect so that you know if this helmet's right for you. So keep an eye out for that. Again, if you like the videos, give us a thumbs up, share. If you have any questions or maybe even any comments on some products that you would like us to check out, we do have plenty of products that we're still going to hit on. We have face masks and other helmets. If there's anything that you would like us to get to sooner, by all means, leave a comment in the section below, and we'll try to get to it as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.